The last couple of weeks, I've been working with Dominic, also known as TA Dodo on Twitter, on some enhancements to the Tanstack query repo. This actually all started from a tweet from Dominic about a month ago that they were looking to migrate from Jest to Vtest. I ended up getting absolutely nerd captured by this. And after a failed attempt to get this merged into the main branch, a couple weekends of work and 106 files touched, we landed this migration into the alpha branch. And after this massive effort, the time saved per PR run was 13 seconds, according to my calculations. Which, to be honest, I was hoping for a bit more for all that work. Now, after this landed, I mentioned to Dominic, hey, how do you feel about adding NX to add caching to the test task as well? And Dominic was cool with that, so I threw out this quick PR, a total of four files touched to introduce NX. Now, as a part of this PR, I also used the scientific method to just figure out real quick the optimal number of tests run in parallel to get the best results in our PR workflow in GitHub Actions. It turns out by running five tests in parallel, this alone ended up saving 18 seconds according to my initial calculations and 15 seconds according to the tests I ran just recently. So the multi-weekend effort that with 100 plus files to change from just to vtest actually saved us less time than this four file change. And just to be clear, here's those four files. I added NX as a dependency, I added about 40 lines of JSON to configure the cache, and then I just touched the test command to run inside of the PR workflow. Thankfully, when we also added NX to the alpha branch where the vtest migration lives, we saw some stacking of these benefits. Here's the matrix now is the four different scenarios that we had and their time in GitHub Actions according to my most recent tests. Now, my testing in GitHub Actions was a bit sporadic, so I also wanted to run the same time test locally and just show that on screen here so you could see the comparisons as well. And we see similar results here where both of the changes individually end up helping and then we see those stacking a bit so that the best result includes both of these changes. And now to be clear, NX wasn't taking advantage of caching yet in these tests. We were literally just changing the number of tests run simultaneously. And I think we probably could have done this using just PMPM without NX and using the workspace concurrency op option and just setting that to five instead of using NX's parallel option and setting that to five. And this should have accomplished the same result. But after working with Dominic to connect the Tanstack query workspace to NX Cloud via this PR, this allowed us to share cache results between CI runs. And this allows us to make sure that looking at the code that affects a given command, we never run that command again twice if we had done it with the same code. And all that's been configured in that 40 lines of JSON I was talking about before. We also recently added NX affected so that we don't even attempt to run tests that couldn't have been affected based on looking at the get differences between the PR and the branch we're merging to. With both of these changes in, we're now seeing significantly less time taken on the test command. Like this one here for a PR that Dominique put up, it ended up just having to run the one test. So this same CI step that had been taking two minutes and six seconds before, in this run only took us 10 seconds. Now the exact benefit of this is a bit harder to measure. And this is because some of the larger PRs or maybe PRs that touch the core package that all the other packages in Tanstack Query depend on, those will probably still take about the one minutes and 45 seconds that we had seen. But as more time goes on, we can take a look at all of the PRs from before NX Cloud came into the picture and compare those to all of the CI times after NX Cloud came into the picture. And this way we can figure out how much time NX and NX Cloud ends up saving Tanstack Query. And we're not done yet. So far, NX Cloud's distributed caching and the affected command are allowing us to skip tests entirely whenever we've run the same test on the exact same code before. And we've also taken the same mechanism and added it to all the other scripts now that Tanstack Query runs inside of its CI workflows. And now that we're in the NX Cloud, we'll also be adding in distributed task execution. So currently in Tanstack Query, we spawn several jobs and each one of these jobs has a specific machine dedicated to it. So each one of these machines has the responsibility of running a specific set of tasks. So one will run our unit tests, one will run our linting, one will run the build, et cetera. And we can actually see that visualized on the NX Cloud dashboard here. And what we find is some of these machines end up running for the entire time while other machines end up having to do very little at all, either because their tasks have been cached or because their tasks just don't take as long as some of the others. So we end up having a little bit of waste here just due to underutilization. Distributed task execution fixes this by turning those same machines now into NX agents. 
And these agents can be assigned any of those tasks, allowing NX Cloud to evenly distribute these tasks in real time to agents as they become available. And this allows us to save as much time as is physically possible. And we can also scale this up simply by adding more agents to the cluster. So some very cool stuff happening here with NX and Tanstack Query. We'll also have Dominique on our NX Live show later this week to talk more about Tanstack Query and the in-browser caching that it's doing at runtime as part of the library. So you won't want to miss that. And be sure to also check out Dominique's blog on Tanstack Query, which is really quite good. I've also done the Jest to Vtest migration for Tanstack Table now and also have added NX to that library. And it looks like we may be adding NX to the Tanstack Router library as well. So be sure to like and subscribe because we'll probably do a similar recap of the savings for those libraries as well and you won't want to miss that. So here's looking ahead to some more cool stuff. And until then, happy coding, y'all.